let us begin with the next class and uh, i hope that uh, most of you have joined oh still i am finding students are joining i don't know why you are so late in doing this because i think 5 minutes time is more than sufficient to join the class so there are total 28 students who are online as of now uh, so let me uh, start formally now so in the last class uh, we had uh, discussed uh, how we can represent various uh, uh, lattices with the help of lattice vectors i hope you all can see the screen as well uh, means my powerpoint presentation is the powerpoint presentation visible okay fine powerpoint presentation is visible ankit is late oh right so in the last class we discussed how we can use lattice vectors to represent a lattice and then we saw how we can use bcc with the help of uh, lattice vectors of uh, simple cubic uh, crystal and uh, we also saw that uh, what is a primitive cell i hope uh, we have discussed uh, primitive cells as well so this is a, a classic example of uh, uh, the the difference between conventional and primitive cell so this figure uh, this already we have discussed uh, shows a two dimensional lattice where uh, we have shown the primitive cells for this two dimensional lattice which can be chosen in many different ways and similarly this figure shows the uh, uh, face centered cubic lattice and uh, the cube part shows the conventional cell and this uh, shaded region in the center shows the corresponding primitive cell so you can see that in primitive cell the lattice vectors are not at all perpendicular to each other and primitive cell effectively contains only one lattice point in the one unit cell this we already have done uh, i think yeah then we were discussing that wigner seats uh, construction of the primitive cell this procedure also i have discussed in previous lecture so i'm not going into details of this but yes uh, uh, just a quick revision that a primitive cell is a, uh, or wigner seat cell is a primitive cell uh, in which we have only one lattice point and the lattice point is sitting in the center of the primitive cell and then we also discussed in previous class in uh, detail how this uh, honeycomb lattice is different from a uh, hexagonal lattice i had given it as a uh, as a as a uh, homework to you all that you go through uh, this honeycomb lattice systematically and uh, <clears throat> then uh, check if you are able to convince yourself uh, that this honeycomb lattice is nothing but made up of uh, hexagonal uh, two dimensional hexagonal brevis lattice whereas honeycomb lattice in itself is not a brevis lattice but yes the uh, the lattice uh, which is 2d hexagonal brevis lattice is the corresponding brevis lattice for the honeycomb lattice so if you replace each uh, lattice point in two dimensional uh, hexagonal brevis lattice with effectively two lattice points uh, taken to represent a honeycomb lattice we can get the honeycomb lattice as such so this was all discussed in detail so i don't think i need to get into that but still if there is any doubt on this part from any one of you i would like you to ask your question please because this covers a very important uh, uh, question or very important topic so is there any uh, doubt on uh, uh, what is the difference between honeycomb lattice and uh, 2d uh, hexagonal lattice and uh, why honeycomb lattice is not a brevis lattice is there any doubt over this yes any student oh yes uh, since the recording is on now you all can mark your attendance you just have i hope you you all know what to do you have to just uh, uh, write your roll number and then put it in chat box but meanwhile i mean uh, don't just start uh, marking your attendance but i am asking if you have any question on this honeycomb lattice and uh, uh, difference between brevis lattice and honeycomb lattice then you can ask is there any question no 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 okay 
All right. So if there is no question, I assume that you understood this uh, very important concept. Now let us move further to discuss uh, some of the famous uh, crystal structures we come across in solid state physics. And uh, diamond structure is one such uh, uh, crystal structure. So this figure shows uh, the diamond structure. And this type of structure is actually exhibited by many uh, elements in the periodic table. For example, carbon do exhibit diamond structure. Silicon also exists in diamond structure. Germanium exists in diamond structure. Alpha tin also exists in diamond structure. So first question to uh, notice here is that uh, diamond structure is actually a face centered cubic lattice or the lattice corresponding to diamond structure is FCC lattice. Now I'm sure that most of the students are uh, usually confused during their uh, um, graduation days or uh, uh, whenever they study this structure. Okay, let me first uh, try to, I mean, uh, uh, briefly uh, tell you what this structure contains. So this structure is uh, containing a cube and at all the corners of the cube, there are uh, carbon atoms or whatever, I mean, if it is silicon, then there are silicon atoms and so on. So th this is uh, missing here, uh, this dot is missing, but this practically doesn't mean there is no dot. There is a dot here, there is a dot here as well. So, I mean, this shows the diamond structure. So you can see that, okay, there are atoms on corners. There are, uh, I mean, there are atoms on corners of the cube, all corners, all eight corners of the cube. There are atoms on face, or centers of the faces of the cube. You can see this face has one atom, this face has another atom, this face has another atom, this is the atom sitting on front face, this is the atom sitting on the back face. So you have all together um, uh, uh, four atoms, on, sorry, uh, six atoms on six faces. Now, if these are the only atoms, I mean atoms sitting on the corners of the cube and uh, centers of the faces, you will be very comfortable, very happy that, okay, this is a face centered cubic uh, lattice, right? And uh, the confusion starts when you see some additional atoms, which are not actually uh, as per our uh, notion of uh, face centered cubic lattice. Because in face centered cubic lattice, we have seen that you have uh, uh, the lattice points on the corners of the cube. <clears throat> you have the lattice points on center of the uh, faces of the cube and that's it we don't have anything additional anything anywhere if there is something uh, else sitting that is a confusion correct so uh, uh, now you you see these additional atoms one atom is sitting here one atom is sitting here another atom is sitting this way this way so what are these additional atom and you should notice if you notice it carefully you find that there are four additional atoms of carbon. So this one, this one, third and fourth. So uh, let us go back to our uh, uh, concept of face central cubic, sorry, face centered cubic lattice. Then we have noticed that in face centered cubic lattice, we have a total of four lattice points per unit cell, isn't it? In a conventional face centered cubic lattice, we have a total of four lattice points. If so, and uh, then this is something interesting that accordingly we are getting four extra atoms, right? So means there must be some, some relation of this number four uh, with this diamond structure. So that is where our uh, example of uh, that lattice and basis comes into picture. So basically lattice is, as you, if you go back to um, uh, or uh, try to recall the previous lectures, I uh, emphasized on a very important uh, uh, point while discussing lattice that uh, the lattice is nothing but a periodic arrangement of points. There is nothing uh, like atoms or lattice has some nothing to do with the atom. So ideally lattice is just a periodic arrangement of points. So this statement that diamond has a face centered cubic lattice uh, is as true as like anything. I mean, uh, diamond do have a face centered cubic lattice. So what should be the lattice for a diamond structure? It should be a face centered cubic arrangement of lattice points where you have lattice points sitting on corners of the cube and uh, on the centers of the face.
axis of the cube. Then we know that any crystal structure actually is made up of lattice and bases combined together. So lattice is just uh, arrangement of points, not atoms. So diamond have face centered cubic lattice. And what is the basis? Basis is the group of atoms which is to be put on the each lattice point or which is to be put with respect to each lattice point. For example, now try to imagine this diamond structure as made up of uh, the points sitting on corners of the cube and also the points sitting on centers of the faces of the cube. But those are just lattice points. Now on each lattice point, let us place two atoms. We are not putting two atoms exactly over each other, but with respect to certain rule. And the rule is that, okay, let us put one of the atom exactly at lattice point. That's what we are saying here in basis. That, okay, let us assume one atom sitting at 0, 0, 0. The coordinate of one atom is 0, 0, 0. Let us say one of the carbon atoms. And second carbon atom, uh, let us put that at 1 by 4. I mean, this is A by 4. So A, if it is the reference length, then we are saying, OK, one of the atom we are putting at, say, 0 0.25, which is, uh, say, 1 by 4 times A. Those are like fractional coordinates of the atom. And uh, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. So let us assume this is uh, our origin, 0, 0, 0. Now, if I see, so on uh, uh, when we uh, try to associate basis with respect to that FCC lattice, so one of the atom is kept at uh, each of the lattice points. So we get one uh, set of carbon atoms, which are sitting exactly on the lattice points. And hence, these uh, uh, carbon atoms, which are comfortably giving us the notion that it is a FCC structure, right? In second, uh, but that is not complete basis. So for diamond structure, the basis is diatomic, means you have two set of atoms associated with each lattice point. So one atom already placed at 0, 0, 0. Second atom now is placed at 1 by 4. I mean, th this is like a 0 0.25a, 0 0.25a, 0 0.25a. I mean, this is a by 4, x cap, y cap plus z cap, right? So this is the second atom. So this has a coordinate of 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25 in the cubic unit cell. Well, similarly, when you associate a, a second carbon atom with each of the lattice point, you will be finding that you will find four additional atoms in the cube. But now you will see that, OK, I mean, these four additional atoms, I mean, should not lie if we follow this rule inside the cube itself. For example, for this carbon atom sitting on the top, the atom should be somewhere like here outside the cube. Fine. But then you will find out that there will be some um, carbon atom sitting at lattice point in the nearby cube whose atom will come somewhere like here. So in this way, what we have is effectively four additional atoms appear in the unit cell uh, completing the diamond structure. So that is what completes the diamond structure. So there's nothing complicated here. So even if you have additional atoms sitting in the unit cell, don't get confused that, oh, how we can see this as a face centered cubic lattice. So it actually is a face centered cubic lattice with a diatomic basis. Uh, is that uh, clear to you how we can see diamond structure of carbon as a FCC uh, lattice? Or is there any confusion or doubt from anyone? Yes, please. Your questions, if there are any. Clear. Shreya says it is clear. Anyone else? I mean, anyone else having any question? OK, fine. If there is no question, let us move ahead. So that is something very crucial. I mean. That is how we can represent. So even if you talk of, say, silicon existing in diamond structure means it has FCC lattice. And uh, there are two atoms of silicon associated with each lattice point. Similarly, germanium, arsenic, uh, sorry, this uh, uh, tin, essence stands for tin. Uh, so that is how we can represent diamond-like structures. These all structures are called diamond-like structures. 
let us uh, let us now move to another example uh I don't know why I put this structure as such directly here, but okay, fine. I mean, that is something like a hexagonal closed packed structure. So uh, in 3D, you also have uh, uh, heard of, of a hexagonal closed pack structure uh, and uh, how we can write down the lattice vectors for a hexagonal closed pack pack the structure, HCP. I think this exercise you have done somewhere in your BSC, so I'm not uh, discussing it as such directly. But yes, what should be the coordinates for lattice vectors? One, let us assume one of that to be, say, a1 or a x cap. So second one, second lattice vector has to be at an angle of 60 degree with respect to the first lattice vector for a 2D hexagonal lattice. And then there will be a third vector, a3 as well. So a2 will be something like a by 2. You can find out, you have to actually find out the coordinates of this point with respect to this uh, a1. So this comes out to be something like a by 2 x cap plus th root 3 by 2 a y cap. This is simple coordinate geometry. I'm sure you all can do that. So that is going to be the second uh, uh, lattice vector. And what is third lattice vector means uh, along the say, third direction or z direction, how would the uh, lattice repeat? So it would be repeating after a certain length, say a3. Let us say this is c. So in any uh, hexagonal structure, what we have is A and C, right? Because the length of B is same as that of A. And A and B are both at uh, one uh, 60 degree angle to each other. Or you can say, I mean, it depends on, I mean, even the choice of lattice vectors is not unique. I hope you know, we have discussed it in the previous slides. So one choice is that, okay, let us keep uh, A1 and A2 at uh, 60 degree angle to each other. So in that case, these will be the corresponding lattice vectors. You may choose them to be at an angle of 120 degree. That is also equally fine. In that case, uh, the vectors will change slightly. So you may find a minus sign here. You can do that uh, exercise yourself. So uh, that is hexagonal closed back structures. Uh, if we have one monotomic basis, I mean, monotomic basis means one atom per lattice point. So in that case, we prefer to put the atom on lattice point to keep our life simple. So that uh, that in that case, those crystal structures looks as if they are just making the lattice itself. But in case we have polyatomic basis, like diatomic basis in case of diamond, the crystal structure won't be easy to visualize. You may not see it uh, conveniently as uh, making a specific lattice. For example, it was a little hard in case of diamond to see it as a FCC lattice. But now, after uh, uh, learning the things properly, I'm sure you can visualize that thing as, as well. Uh, so these are the this is the example of uh, our uh, uh, two uh, elements in periodic table, which do exist in hexagonal closed pack structure. And uh, 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 very two very important defining characteristics of uh, uh, hexagonal closed pack structures is that they, they have two different uh, uh, lattice parameters or lengths rather. One is A, other one is C. And uh, you can equally well describe them with the help of A and C by A. Because uh, once you know A, you describe C by A, you can accordingly find out C. So you should see that uh, a lot of uh, elements in periodic table do exhibit this structure. So this is really something interesting. And there is another way of uh, defining hexagonal closed structures. I mean, you can equally well uh, 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 okay, I mean, that is like a hexagonal closed back structure where uh, in this case, this, these are uh, hexagonal, uh, okay, these are like uh, hexagonal closed structures with the, the layers. This layer, you would see this is the bottom layer and this layer is exactly lying above this layer, right? So there is an atom exactly above this. So this is not completely hexagonal closed pack structure. Why so? Because this is like, okay, two hexagonal layers sitting uh, one above the other. So this just describes two hexagonal layers sitting over each other, but hexagonal closed pack structures in case of 3D are somewhat different. I mean, in, uh, along with these two layers, so this, this structure is representing one layer sitting at the bottom, say, and this is the second layer, which we discussed already. In between them, there is another layer, uh, which is such that, uh, say, suppose this, this uh, set of uh, lattice points makes a triangle, right? Uh, so you have triangles like this. So if we have a lattice point 
uh, in the middle of the two layers exactly at the midpoint sitting exactly in the middle of the triangle right so this type of structure is called hexagonal closed pack structure this is one of the hexagonal closed pack structure depending upon what kind of arrangement of layers is there so um, this let us say this is a type layer i mean this layer has a type arrangement and this base layer has a type arrangement and this is the second layer we let us call this as a b type layer then this also is how is having what kind of arrangement a layer so if you have a b a b a b type layer that is called hexagonal closed pack structures fine that's uh, one way of saying it you would have seen it somewhere so if you have a b a b type uh, uh, arrangement you have uh, what you call a, a hexagonal closed pack structure so how we can describe uh, hcp structures so basically to describe lattice vectors we can say okay let us choose these as the lattice vectors and corresponding the basis points one of the basis uh, uh, point will contain uh, one of the i mean lattice points will be exactly at 0 0 0 i mean corresponding to each lattice point so okay there is one more important thing here to notice that if we choose these lattice vectors what we will be getting as the generated lattice out of them only this layers right i mean over this layer this layer will be sitting so by using this choice of lattice vectors we can only get this type of arrangement we can't get hcp in that case this situation is similar to that of uh, 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 the case when we were trying to get a bcc out of uh, simple cubic lattice vectors right we were missing something fine so now if we choose those set of vectors if we choose these vectors as the lattice vector and place two lattice points corresponding to each lattice point of this arrangement then what we have let us say suppose one lattice point is at 0 0 0 so this will generate the whole set of these lattice points and let us place another lattice point at say 1 by 3 uh, along uh, say 1 by 3 along x direction 1 by 3 along y direction and 1 by 2 along z direction so let us say this is z direction so where we are placing second set second lattice point at 1 by 3 1 by 3 and 0 0.5 so that is how we can generate the hexagonal closed pack structure i hope that is uh, clear to you uh, so that is how we can get this hcp structure so that is what i am just talking here I mean, for HCP structure, the arrangement of layers is A, B, A, B, A, B type. I hope uh, you are uh, okay with that. Now, FCC, if you carefully look at FCC structure, you can see that also, uh, in a sense, to be made up of uh, 2D hexagonal uh, lattice layers. I mean, we can see the fcc lattice as uh, being made up of stacked 2d hexagonal layers what is 2d hexagonal layers these are uh, say 2d hexagonal layers so this is suppose a type layer right so in hexagonal uh, in fcc if you see it along one 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 direction uh, not today, but in tomorrow's class i will i will show you the live demo uh, with the help of a software called uh, uh, there is a software called Vesta. The three-dimensional views of these crystals, then maybe things will be more clear to you. Uh, so if you see FCC uh, structure along one one direction, so this is say let us say one 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 direction, then you will see that this plane which is shown here will look like a two D hexagonal lattice. That's something really interesting. And but for FCC, the arrangement is you have a A type layer. You have a B type layer, exactly same as that of this. So there is one layer, there is a B type layer. Third layer is not B type, but is a C type layer. In case this is the arrangement, then we get an FCC. If the arrangement is ABC, ABC, ABC type, this is FCC arrangement. And, and, and if the arrangement of 2D layers, 2D hexagonal layers is AB, AB, AB type, we get uh, HCP uh, crystal structure. Now you may ask a question, what is the C layer? How is the C layer placed with respect to A and B layers? So let us come. This is uh, your A layer. 
this is your b layer i hope you can see the uh, cursor on the slides now if third layer is not sitting uh, exactly same way as a layer is but is actually sitting uh, uh, with respect to b layer as uh, this uh, b layer is sitting with respect to a layer what do we mean by this b layer is sitting with respect to a layer in such a way that okay there is a lattice point in b layer which is lying exactly in the middle of a triangle of the, the a layer similarly if we choose a layer which is sitting in such a way that there is a lattice point sitting exactly in the middle of uh, the uh, triangle of b layer then we will say that that is a c layer okay one more thing which you should notice here in this arrangement is that in this a layer uh, we have a triangle correct there is another triangle sitting here there is a third triangle sitting ne nearby to this layer there is a fourth triangle sitting so what is the interesting thing in these uh, layers is that the lattice point in the b layer is not there corresponding to each triangle you should see that for this triangle there is a lattice point right but for this triangle second triangle there is no lattice point here then there is a lattice point for third triangle which is here and so on so the lattice points are sitting uh, alternate to each triangle in one layer and this requires a little visualization exercise but uh, i am sure uh, that my words are able to help you visualize this you look at this figure carefully and try to visualize these lattice points so this is the case so i mean if we take a layer then b layer and repeat over it a layer then we get ab a b a b type arrangement and hence hexagonal packed crystal but if we do something else i mean okay in this this was your a layer there was a b layer where we had lattice points at alternate positions i mean at alternate triangles now if c layer is such that the lattice points are at the position of the triangles which were missing in b layer then we get a new layer called c layer that is called abc abc type arrangement uh i hope i could uh, convince you with this uh, thing so in uh, this uh, fcc you have abc 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 type arrangement and uh, in, in in hcp it is ab ab type arrangement but in uh, some other cases it may be some complex arrangement like uh, ab a c a b this kind of complex arrangement so you could you would see that okay this arrangement is repeated i mean it doesn't repeat up to this after this c you will see this pattern repeats itself so there may be some more complex uh, crystal structures so uh, before i move to the next slide i would like to know if you all are uh, okay with what i just talked regarding hcp and fcc structure and uh, their relation to two dimensional uh, hexagonal uh, structure yes is there any doubt or is everything fine till now any response students are you online or not or am i online or not can you all hear me yes sir okay so is this clear till now or is there any doubt uh will you once again okay you want me to explain type c layer okay okay let me go back to this slide uh okay let's come not there but yes let us come to this slide fine in this slide this is your starting point let us say this is a a type layer sitting in the base here now you have two choices to place a second layer which is actually going to be exactly in midway between the two layers but what are the two choices you may take one lattice point here second lattice point here and third lattice point here so effectively you have only three lattice points lying here then there will be corresponding three lattice points here alternate to them so 
that kind of layer is B layer. Now B layer is equivalent whether you place a point here, here and here, or here, here and here. So B layer is equivalent. I mean, this is there is no practical uh, difference between the two choices. But yes, how you place the third layer is important. So if the third layer it is exactly sitting here, I mean, above this layer, then that type of arrangement is called A, B, A, B layer. A, B, A, B, A, B type arrangement. And that is what makes your hexagonal type arrangement. Now let's come here. Uh, unfortunately, he has written on, uh, he has shown this figure this way only. But if you try to see, this is your that A layer I was talking about. And uh, in this A layer, okay, this is these lines, these vertical lines drawn here are representing the lines connecting centers of the triangles. So triangle in this base layer and center of the triangle in the top layer A. These are two A type layers. Sit one sitting at the bottom, other sitting at the top. Very good. Now there is one more triangle here adjacent to this triangle, but they have not connected the line. Uh, uh, they have not uh, drawn a line joining this triangle to the top triangle here. Why? Because there is no lattice point which will be sitting because lattice points will be sitting alternate to each other on in the B layer. I mean, one of the triangles will be missed. So it will be, these will be sitting alternate to each. So if you take this next one after this triangle, if you take third one, this is first, this is second, this is third. Uh, I'm talking about base layer. Then they have joined a line, right? You, this is clearly visible here. So there is one line coming from this point. There is another line coming from this point. There is no line coming from this point. So on this line, there is another lattice point. So there is one lattice point here. There is one other, another lattice point here. Again, this, this triangle is missing. This triangle is sitting here, correct? So this is another lattice point. In this way, if we repeat this uh, basal uh, uh, 2D hexagonal lattice indefinitely, you should see that you will find this kind of arrangement of uh, lattice points in the central layer. So if the arrangement is this type, it is called AB, 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 AB type. And that is what makes your hexagonal close back lattice. I hope clear till now. Now let us talk about ABC, ABC, ABC type arrangement. Now till the here, things are same. This is A type, this is B type. Now if third lattice point, instead of sitting here, is actually sitting here in the center of this triangle. They are not sitting exactly here, but here. Then another one is sitting here. If this way you repeat the third layer, this type of arrangement is called ABC. Then what will be the next layer? I mean, where will be the fourth layer? That one is going to be exactly this way. I mean, as if this layer is exactly sitting over the third layer, that will be your fourth layer. So that will be like ABC, ABC, ABC type arrangement. And that is what is there in case of a B, uh, uh, FCC lattice. Uh, is this clear now? Harish, any other student, please? Is it clear to everyone properly? If there is a doubt, you can ask. I can try to do it once again. Uh, anyone else from the audience? It is okay for Ankush. What about Vishali? Vishali, is it okay for you? Vishali Kondal, can you hear me? Sudesh, are you okay with this? Sudesh, can you hear me? Are you okay with this explanation? Very good. What about Kalpana? Kalpana Sarway? Kalpana, is it clear to you? Kalpana, can you hear me? Very good. So means uh, you all are online and listening uh, possibly attentively. Fine. If this is clear, let us move to uh, the next case. Uh, so this this uh, uh, FCC and uh, HCP connection is clear. Now let us talk of another. Now 
if the things are clear to you until now i'm sure these coming crystal structures are going to be very simple for you otherwise i am also sure that uh, in case you don't understand lattice and basis properly you are almost confused uh, all the way when you are uh, discussing crystal structure for example you know it has been or it is being taught to you since your plus 2 class or plus 1 class maybe in the schools as well now that uh, sodium chloride is a fcc structure uh, to be very honest i was confused till uh, very later stages of my uh, career as uh, i mean uh, uh, as a student that how can we see this sodium chloride as fcc structure because if i see in this sodium chloride this cube which is drawn here and that is how we show sodium chloride as a fcc structure i couldn't convince myself that how is it uh, fcc because i was able to see atoms sitting at corners of the cube that is fine i was able to see atoms sitting on centers of the faces of the cube till this i am comfortable but then i i used to get discomfort when i saw these additional atoms sitting on the edges of the cube so how uh, despite of uh, atoms or additional atoms sitting at the edges of the cube we are saying this is a fcc structure isn't that kind of uh, confusion you ever got uh, at least i i had this confusion but since we now have discussed lattice and basis properly this should not confuse you so what is sodium chloride structure it has fcc lattice with diatomic basis where one of the atom is sodium atom let us assume sodium atom is sitting at 0 0 0 means the atoms of sodium are sitting exactly at the lattice points so you can see let us say these black points are representing sodium atoms so now since they are sitting exactly at the uh, lattice points which are of course uh, referring to a fcc lattice so that is fine now this doesn't complete the structure we ha also have chlorine atoms so chlorine atoms let us assume they are sitting like okay at a by 2 a by 2 a by 2 or half 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 with respect to say a being the length of the cube so in that case corresponding to let us assume okay this is at 0 0 0 then there is some chlorine atom corresponding to this sitting at half 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 so what will be half along x direction let us say this is x direction so this is half along y direction half z direction half so this is the chlorine atom sitting corresponding to this at half 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 in same way we shall be having a chlorine atom for each of these sodium atoms sitting at half 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 relative to this so when i'm coming to this atom this sodium atom i have to draw the coordinate axis again draw x axis y axis and z axis again and corresponding to this i have to find out where is the half 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 in the, this cube i have to draw a cube of same length a then corresponding to this there will be a chlorine atom i think sitting here so this is the chlorine atom sitting here corresponding to this sodium atom so this way you will see that okay you are getting all those chlorine atoms corresponding to each sodium atoms when repeated according to this law and that is what makes our so simplified sodium chloride structure but if we don't understand the concept of lattice and basis properly uh, we can't convince anybody that yes it is a fcc structure one more thing i mean you i mean uh, the, the problem is that in lower classes or in conventional way usually a teacher tells you that okay uh, fcc crystal is the crystal for which the atoms are sitting at corners of the cube and uh, at uh, centers of faces of the cube right that is the wrong definition basically fcc is not a crystal structure actually fcc is a lattice so fcc is a lattice for which the lattice points are sitting at corners of the cube and centers of the faces of the cube and all those crystals which are known to have fcc lattice are many i mean even if you see diamond diamond is also fcc lattice and if you are asked to compare say diamond and sodium chloride structure you can't see any direct one to one comparison if you just see the atoms so 
the main thing is the lattice points. Lattice points, the uh, lattice is same for diamond structure as well as for sodium chloride structure. But it is the difference in basis. So for a, for a diamond structure, the basis is diatomic and uh, the atoms are sitting different way relative to each other. And for chlorine, they are sitting, uh, for, so sorry, for sodium chloride, they are sitting in a different way relative to each other. I am sorry for this noise being created by dog of my neighbor. Hope you are not disturbed by this much and I am audible to you properly. Okay. Uh, fine. So that is your uh, sodium chloride structure. Fine. And uh, there are many uh, uh, crystals uh, appearing, uh, existing in nature, which do exhibit this uh, sodium chloride type structure. Lithium fluoride, lithium chloride, lithium bromide, all these. I mean, you can see uh, there is a long list of uh, type of crystals which do exhibit NaCl type structure. So these, uh, this is the important uh, aspect of the sodium chloride structure. So now you should be comfortable with sodium chloride structure as well. Uh, is it uh, okay? I mean, are you comfortable with sodium chloride structure? Could you see it as FCC or are your confusions clear now? Or is there still some doubt from any one of you? Is there any doubt from any one of you? Yes, is sodium chloride crystal structure okay or not? Am I audible to students? Okay, Harish says it is okay for him. Okay, fine. Many students came up with their response. Now, let's move to the next thing. Cesium chloride stuff. This is also one of uh, very important and uh, uh, conceptually, I would say, uh, confusing structure. Uh, if you see, I mean, I don't know, if you don't understand uh, cesium and lattice properly, then you will uh, be confused regarding cesium chloride structure. And you will see this as a BCC structure. But practically, it is a simple cubic structure. This is something really interesting. And the basis is so simple that you basis is so simple that you would see, oh, it is like a PCC. And you can confuse any student while taking Viva. So maybe most of you, when you will be becoming teacher, you should teach your students properly. And then you can check whether they know it properly or not. So if somebody doesn't understand lattice and basis, even one question is sufficient to uh, get their confusions out. So if I ask you, OK, how do you look like uh, this uh, cesium chloride structure? Any student uh, who is um, uh, not clear of this concept, they will say it is BCC. Why? Because you have a cube, set atoms sitting on corners of the cube. And uh, these are uh, typically like say chlorine atoms. And uh, there is a cesium atom sitting at the center of the cube. You can also interchange the atoms. That is equally fine. So you have a cesium atom sitting at the center of the cube. You have chlorine atoms sitting at the corners of the cube. So conventionally, what would you say to this structure? BCC that oh you have atoms sitting at uh, uh, corners of the cube and you have another atom sitting at the uh, center of the body of the cube so this is a BCC structure but the answer is wrong right so basically this is a simple cubic structure with diatomic basis with the which say let us say chlorine atoms are sitting at 0, 0, 0, means each chlorine atom is sitting at the lattice point of simple cubic lattice and CCM atom sitting at center of the body that is at half, half, half. So this is a simple cubic structure with diatomic basis, right? Uh, uh, I hope that should be okay with you. If there is any question you may ask, I will give you a short pause so that you could uh, ask your question. Uh, oh, who is asking me for an, one more explanation? Okay, uh, Shreya, for, uh, okay, fine. I mean, uh, you asked this question uh, somewhere at 1018. So can you please repeat, I mean, regarding what uh, 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 structure you want me to explain? I didn't saw your chat, so I missed your question. Please uh, just let me know what kind of, uh, I mean, re related to which structure you want me to explain. Okay. Cesium chloride structure. Uh, is this same for uh, Vivek? Vivek, you also want me to talk about cesium chloride structure again? 
विवेक कैन यू हियर मी विवेक विवेक ओके गुड वेरी गुड सो ओके लेट्स गो बैक अगेन टू द सीजियम टू राइट स्ट्रक्चर now uh, okay before i explain can i ask you that what confusion did you get related to uh, the cesium chloride structure can you ask me the question if you have any or uh, uh, you got any confusion during my previous explanation or you missed my explanation whatever i mean just be honest if you got a doubt from my previous explanation then i will explain it accordingly or if you missed my previous explanation i can explain it accordingly again okay shreya didn't understand diatomic bases what about vivek vivek you also didn't get any seal um okay i need to go back again okay fine what do you mean by diatomic basis or what do you mean by a crystal structure as it uh, as such is that for a crystal structure you have a lattice which is repeating periodically and this is just a periodic arrangement of points and a uh, lattice is nothing but uh, arrangement of points geometrical points and uh, a crystal structure is not is actually combination of lattice and bases put on the lattice or with respect to the lattice for example let us look at the cesium chloride structure as a made up of so this is now crystal structure here what i am showing is a crystal structure so this is a cesium chloride crystal structure and uh, bases corresp lattice corresponding to this is a simple cubic lattice so let me take lattice out of this uh, cesium chloride structure so what will be it it will be just like okay uh, dots sitting on these black circles let us say these are black circles which are representing my lattice points so i have a lattice which is simple cubic you know what is a simple cubic lattice a lattice where uh, the lattice points are placed on corners of the cube that's it right there is no lattice point in the center of the face or there is no lattice point in the center of the uh cube itself so that is called the simple cubic lattice good now that is not the crystal structure we just are representing lattice now crystal structure will be that i have to associate a basis with respect to this lattice so what i am saying is okay let me take the basis in such a way that okay corresponding to, so the basis is of made up of two atoms one is chlorine as the formula is cesium chloride so basis is made up of two atoms cesium and chlorine now let me say okay let me place chlorine atoms at 0 0 and cesium atom at 0.5 0.5 0.5 with respect to the unit cell or this unit cell simple cubic unit cell and what we will, what will i get i had that uh, simple cubic lattice for cesium chloride now at 0 0 let me say okay this is 0 0 point here i am placing one chlorine atom and what will be the corresponding uh, second atom sitting at 0.5 0.5 0.5 so this is the second atom but till now all these are just lattice points right only one lattice point we have replaced with the basis so to get the crystal structure we have to replace each lattice point with the basis so what i should be doing i should be coming to this lattice point again and now again how i I have to place the basis chlorine atom at 0 0 0 uh, and a cesium atom at half 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 now this is my reference point not this one so now i will assume this to be the origin so where will be the chlorine sitting exactly here 0 0 0 where will be the corresponding cesium atom sitting half 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 somewhere here above this cube so of course if you repeat this crystal structure you will find out uh, cesium atom sitting here similarly i have to replace all the lattice points with chlorine atoms and we have to accordingly place cesium atoms with respect to all these uh, chlorine atoms and that is how we will be getting the whole cesium chloride structure 
So this means that cesium chloride structure has a simple cubic lattice and a diatomic basis containing two atoms uh, with respect to each lattice point. And those atoms are placed according to a rule that chlorine atom is sitting at 0, 0, 0 at origin. This we can call the central atom. What does it mean? Origin means the lattice point itself. And cesium atom sitting at 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 with respect to the chlorine atoms. And that is the rule for placing the basis with respect to the lattice. Is this clear to Shreya? And hopefully I would expect Vivek also to be okay with sodium chloride structure now. Because in sodium chloride also, the lattice is FCC still. And basis is made up of sodium and chlorine. But here, the coordinates of the basis is different in comparison to that of um, uh, what you call, uh, no. Yes, they, this is something interesting in uh, cesium chloride and sodium chloride structure. To, uh, we to, uh, to see the formula, they looks like, okay, they should be identical. But they are not. I mean, cesium chloride is uh, simple cubic lattice has a simple cubic lattice and in cesium chloride please note it on your notebook somewhere cesium is uh, sorry chlorine is sitting at 0, 0, 0 and cesium is sitting at 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 in case of sodium chloride say suppose sodium is sitting at 0, 0, 0 you can interchange the positions of cesium and chlorine in cesium chloride structure so that don't change things uh, anyhow uh, so that is okay we can interchange them Okay, let's come to the sodium chloride structure. The basis is placed in the same way. I mean, one of the uh, atom is placed at 0, 0, 0. And second atom with respect to this is placed at half, half, half. So the basis is placed in the same way. But the lattice is different in case of sodium chloride. The lattice is face centered cubic now, FCC. And that is how we see the two uh, structures in different way. This is FCC. And that one is simple cub uh, simple cubic. So that is uh, how uh, this uh, simple, uh, I mean, uh, diatomic basis work or how we can understand the crystals which contain diatomic basis and uh, either simple cubic or uh, BCC or FCC structure. So cesium chloride is a simple cubic structure, but not the BCC structure, despite uh, atom sitting at the center. There is one more thing. Uh, Vivek, is it clear to you? Vivek, is this clear to you? Okay, fine. Uh, I hope it is clear to all other students as well. If anyone has any doubt, they can mail me or uh, put their questions in, uh, questions, uh, in the chat box. For uh, today, the time is uh, over, so I would like to stop here. Tomorrow, we will be talking uh, somewhat more about uh, um, some new structures. And uh, then we will see how does this zinc blend structure compare with the diamond structure. We will be talking of this very interesting structure called perovskite structure. Okay, I give it to you as a homework. You look at this structure, or you can Google even, uh, uh, and uh, look for perovskite structure. So in this structure, we can see the atoms sitting at uh, corners of the cube. We can see the atoms sitting on centers of the faces of the cube. We have one atom sitting in the center of the body of the cube. What is the lattice corresponding to this crystal structure? And uh, what is the basis corresponding to the same? So that's what you have to uh, do till tomorrow. And uh, till then, uh, thank you for today. And uh, I wish you a good day. Uh, we'll meet tomorrow, same time as per timetable, and then discuss uh, these things. Uh, so uh, since we don't have time, so I am not allowing you to ask questions now. But tomorrow at the beginning, you can come up with your questions. Uh, do go through these structures once again yourself. And if there are doubts, you come with your doubts by tomorrow. So thank you once again. Have a nice time ahead.